Welcome to the Masterclass on Pydentic AI, a new framework for building AI agents. In this Masterclass, we're learning about the core features of Pydentic AI and how we can build effective agents using simple Python code. We aim to hit all key features of the framework with plenty of examples, so by the end of this, you have the confidence and the knowledge to build your own agents. In today's video, we're going to look into creating agents with custom system prompts. In previous videos, we've briefly touched on the topic, but today we'll dive into the details. In Pydentic AI, there are two types of system prompts. Static system prompts, these are known beforehand and can be defined via the system underscore prompt parameter of the agent constructor. Dynamic system prompts, on the other hand, depend in some way on the context that is not known until runtime and should be defined via functions decorated with the at agent dot system prompt an agent can have both static and dynamic prompts appended in the order they're defined at runtime okay but given that user prompts are generally provided how important is the system prompt system prompts might seem simple since they're just strings or sequences of strings that are concatenated but crafting the right system prompt is key to getting the model to produce the results that you requested. They play a vital role when creating agents, framing the agent's personality, behavior, and scope. This video is a part of a series. If you haven't watched earlier modules, now might be a good time to pause and take a look. It may add context to what's covered in this tutorial. The links to all videos will be in the description. Today, we'll work on six examples, starting with a simple Hello World, then moving to a basic code writing agent. Next, we're going to enhance the code writing agent through a much more comprehensive system prompt, demonstrating how critical it is to write descriptive prompts. Next, we'll see how to inject variables into static prompts in our invoice writing agent. The final two examples will teach us dynamic prompts, and the very last one has a twist. Stick around to see how agents can write their own dynamic system prompts during runtime. By the end of these exercises, you will have enough practice to write your own system prompts with confidence, and that will improve the agent outcomes. All right, let's get started. In our Hello World example, we'll start with a simple system prompt. Let's see how we can provide our agent a simple descriptive system prompt that can enhance the outcomes. So we're starting with our regular OpenAI GPT-4 mini model. Our agent today is a business code agent and our system prompt is simply, you're an experienced business coach and a startup mentor specializing in guiding technology startups from ideation to sustainable growth. Our system prompt is quite simple Simple, and this is our hello world example so we'd like to keep it simple let's run this example with the system prompt and see what our agent comes up with all right so here's the outcome creating a startup strategy for a software as a service startup there are a number of items that our agent was able to come up with this very brief system prompt market research and validation there is quite a bit of items here but they're rather generic and we didn't provide much context either in the system prompt or the user prompt so the llm did its best to provide a generic enough answer that can cover most SaaS businesses but nothing very specific gamification user acquisition retention specifically for the user acquisition and retention for example there's referrals there's gamification feedback loops these are not totally super useful because you can just get them from a simple google search or just asking chat gpt so it's not super helpful but still it's better than uh, calling the plain agent without any system prompt so Let's continue our example. It is the hello world. It's a rather quick example with simple system prompt. Well-written system prompts can make a real difference in the outputs of agents. Pydentic AI is awesome because it provides two types of system prompts, static and dynamic. By combining them, better agent results can be achieved. Next time, we'll look into how to use tools with our agents. Using function tools, Agents can extend functionality and become truly useful. More exciting stuff is coming up. But for today, this is a wrap. If you've come this far, grab your favorite drink and kick back. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and learned something new. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you and see you in the next one.